The film is called Party Flower. Now, it stars... What? what? Party Flower. <laughs> it stars <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Okay. <laughs> who um, is looking... He's just got a new job working in an advertising company. He's an artist, struggling artist. He's just moved to New York. Uh, he works for the Clamp um, Company. It's a company called Clamp. And he is um, he designs sketches, you know, designs new buildings, malls, that kind of thing. Um, and adverts for products that Clamp sells. Um, but he's got one thing that always causes him to have a creative block. He's got to have plant life because that inspires him. Um, he's just moved into this cubicle. He needs a, a, some sort of plant quick. So he runs out the building, finds an old mysterious Chinese shop and says, well, they might have plants in there. So he goes in and he sees a wise old Chinese man played by Cheech Marin who says, hey, man, I got some plants to sell you, man. I've got this flower. That's a shockingly good Marin. <laughs> so long as I don't say too much. Like an... So long as I keep it short, sharp sentences. Plant cut, you have! <laughs> that falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's a flower. It's a little flower in a pot. It just stands straight up. Big yellow middle polony bit. Big purple petals. A beautiful little flower. Brendan Fraser says that's perfect. Brendan Fraser's character is Adam Shoestring. Um, so Adam Shoestring says, that's a great flower. I'll buy it. How much? He goes, hey, man, for you, nothing. <laughs> so he takes it <laughs> and says, well, that, that, that was very kind. I wonder why he'd give away this excellent flower for nothing. He takes it back to the office. Puts it on his desk. I just realised this wasn't as short a pitch as I thought it would be. Um, That's okay. It's kind of good. Puts the flower down. Starts working. Okay? Just a normal day. Bosses come past. So that's some good art that you're doing, Adam Shoestring. And he says, yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. Um, so they go. Suddenly he hears this uh, little, little noise. Right? <clears throat> just, hey. Looks around. Sees nothing. Hey, he looks up suddenly and sees the flower is looking at him. The yellow polony bit in the middle is now a yellow Willem Dafoe face. And it's just looking at him. Yeah, it's just like, it's a big flower with, and the, the top of the flower is Willem Dafoe's yellow head with big purple petals coming around the, around his head, just framing his face. And he's smiling and he just goes, hey, Adam Shoestring. I'm dancing! And he just starts jumping <laughs> up and down from side to side, just shaking his little stem like booty hips. And it's just playing, like, like some Mika or something. It's playing Mika's Love Today. And he's just going, love, love me! Love, love me! And he's just constantly going, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Like that man of praise just saying, shut up, shut up! Shut up, I can't let the bosses see you! And he puts him in the drawer, and he's, he's just like, oh, go in the drawer! Go in the drawer, he shuts the drawer, and then you can just hear... I'm dancing! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! He just doesn't fucking stop! And then the film is Brendan Fraser, like, carrying this dancing little Willem Dafoe party flower. He gets it in... He takes it to work, he brings it to his home, he takes it back to work, takes it back home... Constantly hiding it because he can't let anyone see it for some reasons. And he's hiding it from the bosses. He's hiding it from his girlfriend. He's hiding it from the vicar when he comes around to tea. And every time, like, you know, someone comes to visit or the boss walks past, they just, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. <laughs> and they say, what was that? And then Adam Shoestring has to jump up out of his seat and start going, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. <laughs> Why so does they, Adam Shoestring have to? So they, oh, to cover it, to cover it up. And then they're like, oh it. my god, I'm still got this cop. It's trying to force its way out because I'm so excited about this film. And then they look at him and says, Adam Shoestring, get back to work. And he says, okay. And that's basically the film. It's a little flower just dancing for an hour and a half. 
<laughs> and he's and getting into different pa- the, the party flower, and he's trying to get party. yeah, and he's trying to um, you know <clears throat> live a normal life while taking care of this flower that's constantly dancing. Taking care of it? Why does he just <laughs> not have oh, it? Excuse me. Well, he's he just... when he takes it back to uh, Cheech Marin, who says, "I can't eat that black man." And then he says, "Well," and then he says, "Well, I guess I got to look after it now." So he takes it back home and feeds it. He feeds it yogurt. <laughs> oh yuck! And he's just does he really out, like the yogurt? It's dribbling out of Willem Dafoe's mouth. He's like, "I'm there, Finn. I'm there." Finn. <laughs> and he doesn't stop, and constantly, you know, Mika is fucking music's just blaring out constantly. Uh, from nowhere, from some unseen source, possibly the flower itself. Um, and that's my idea for the film. It's a fine idea. The party flower. Pollinating I like it. I'd watch it. cinemas near you. Cinemas Wii I U? I like that one. That was charming. Well, there's a nice, charming little cute... Yeah, something... Yeah, you, know, you could take the family to that. Family-friendly film. You know, it's yeah. kind of like Gremlins. That's why I said it was set in the Clamp building. Um, it's it's in the same oh, yeah, canonal, yeah, canonical universe as is a spiritual prequel to uh, Gremlins. Um, <laughs> so it's got that kind of you know weird creatures with a normal guy trying to just do his best and make a head in the world. Um, we could probably get the guy who played Clamp to reprise his role. Um, you know, he might eventually discover the flower and it becomes the next big thing, um, and everyone's happy and it's just a happy dancing flower. You know, and on the, on the poster it could say something like, you know, chlorophyll your enjoyment with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrifying. Put your petal to the metal. Get your chlorophyll of fun. Exactly. Perfect. Yes. Get your chlorophyll of fun um, and don't leave the cinema early before you finish watching the film. I ran out of Gremlins early at age... Ten when it came out because I was terrified when those egg sacks were hatching. Uh, it was. I can imagine it was scary. I have a feeling yeah. that you know, um, very harsh close-ups of Willem Dafoe's yellow laughing face will be a lot more f- kid friendly. I think. I think kids want to see that. <laughs> they want to see. They want to see a yellow Willem Dafoe face with yogurt just spewing out of its mouth. And it's coming out like. <laughs> The milk coming out of Bishop's mouth in Aliens. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's never going to inspire nightmares. No, I think that's good. No. Be. And I think at one point as well, like, just just a, a snake comes out of his mouth. Oh, of course. Just in one scene. You could just have it be just, almost not. He just, goes, he just goes, I'm dancing! Now look what I can do! And then just a <laughs> And then the big snake comes out, and the snake has got Danny DeVito's face. Um, and Whoa. then that flies out of his mouth, and it just rotates. It, like, orbits Brendan Fraser's head for about five minutes and just goes, I'm the Danny DeVito snake! I'm going to go joke off in the corner! And that just goes away. 